What's up guys, it's George Aliyu and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to hit the heavy bag. You probably got some new gloves, maybe a heavy bag for Christmas, or you simply wanna get in boxing shape or uh, in better health overall through boxing, then this is a video for you. So this video is specifically for beginners. Again, maybe you just got a heavy bag and you don't feel comfortable punching the bag or maybe your punches feel a little awkward. Follow these tips so you can set up your foundation for boxing. If you're new to the channel, I love sharing advice on boxing, nutrition, exercise, life of a boxer, behind the scenes footage on boxing events. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest video. Okay, so there are three main places you're gonna be around the heavy bag. So you're either completely on the outside, which is great for your straight punches like jab cross. You're either on the inside, which is great for the short hooks or even uppercuts. And three, you may be just in range for all those punches. Now, when you're throwing a combination like jab cross hook, all those punches have different ranges. So you're gonna have to adjust depending on which punch you wanna prioritize. For example, if you wanna throw a jab cross hook, but you wanna throw a powerful hook, you're gonna to have to throw a short one, two. Along with following these tips, make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see my review on the MK1 Select Boxing Gloves. Boom. Okay, the first thing you need to figure out is your range. Are you close to the bag? Are you far away? The distance will determine which punches you should throw. For example, I'm starting far away from the heavy bag or outside, meaning I need to close the distance and punch. When you're far away, the best punches to use are your straight punches because they cover the most distance. Here I am throwing one, two, jab cross, or any combination of straight punches and then exiting out. If you're starting out, don't focus so much on power, rather focus on good form. The power will eventually come. Again, start away from the heavy bag, close the distance and throw your straight punches, then circle out. You may feel a bit awkward at first using your footwork, and that's okay, but practice keeping your weight on the balls of your feet. This will allow you to move smoothly around the heavy bag. Also, make sure not to cross your feet because this may cause you to lose balance. So again, if you're on the outside, step in, focus on only straight punches, then use your footwork to get out of the way. Next, we have the close position or inside. Here, you will prioritize your short hooks and uppercuts. Boxing is an art and a science. Science is the basics and fundamentals, and art is the style one creates. I'm saying this because you may feel comfortable throwing a short hook or a long hook, but if you're on the inside, you can only throw a short hook. Notice the distance between me and the heavy bag. There is no point in throwing a jab or a cross from this position because it would be an incomplete punch. That doesn't mean you can't throw it because boxing is an art and you can make it work for you, but if you're a beginner, stick with learning proper technique first. Notice every once in a while, I'll stick my forearm out. If I can touch the heavy bag with my forearm, that means I'm in close or in the inside position. Here, you will throw your hooks and uppercuts, then move your head. Imagine yourself fighting someone. Throw your hooks, then move your head because you're in a dangerous position. And like I said before, if you're not moving your hands, you're moving your feet. And if you're not moving your feet, you better be moving your head. Small subtle movements will cost you very little to do, but will create a big defensive advantage. Okay, the last position you'll find yourself hitting the heavy bag is right at the end of your punches. Here, it's not about straight punches or short punches, but rather what punches do you want to prioritize. As you develop your style, you may feel more comfortable throwing straight punches over hooks or vice versa. That's what makes boxing so unique and interesting to watch. Every fighter has their own style. Being right at the end of your punches means you can modify and adjust your stance or foot position to land any punch you want. This is where you can combine long, short, or mid-distance punches in one single combination. For example, let's use a combination that uses all of the above, like jab, cross, hook, uppercut, or one, two, three, six. If you want to prioritize the hook or uppercut, you will have to sacrifice the one and two because the ranges on these punches are different. If you want power for straight punches, you need to be at a long distance. If you want power for hooks or uppercuts, then you need to be in close distance. Notice as I punch the heavy bag, I tap the bag with my left hand. This tells me I'm in range, similar to the forearm tap on the inside. Once I know I'm in range, I decide what punch I want to prioritize right before I throw the combination or sometimes as I'm throwing the combination. So when you're punching the heavy bag, tap the bag. If you can touch, you're right at the end of your punch. If you can not touch it, you're on the outside. And if you can touch the heavy bag with your forearm, then you're on the inside. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful. And play around with your heavy bag because not all heavy bags are the same. 
There's different weight, different sizes, and some punches are better to throw on certain heavy bags than others. All right, now for the glove review. All right, so these are the MK1 Select Lace-Up Gloves, and these are 12 ounces. Before I give my review, I wanna make it clear I have zero affiliation with this company. They do not sponsor me, but they did send out these free gloves, so thank you, MK1. All right, so I'm gonna read some description and features off the website first. I know these gloves cost $130, which are more affordable compared to popular gloves like winning. I know winning is like $300 plus and is the most common amongst pros. You also have rival boxing gloves ranging from $140 to $200 and Everlast, which offer gloves from $100 to $200. And these companies are one of the most common you'll see around gyms. So MK1 being $130, is more on the affordable side, which is pretty cool. Okay, so some features from their website, 100% uh, genuine leather, premium inside liner, multi-layer foam padding, solid wrist support, classic monochrome colorways, and I know they also offer customized colors and logos and designs. All you have to do is just email them or reach out via Instagram. Okay, so my first impression of the gloves, just simply an aesthetic observation is that they look very clean. The design is simple, the logo is centered in the back of the glove here. I really like the blue and the gray separation around the thumb. Now, I don't know much about stitching, but <laughs> there's double layer stitching all over the glove. I'm guessing the purpose of it is to provide a better structure for the glove. Also, I like the look of the stitching right here around the wrist, which makes an X. Again, I'm not sure what the stitching is for. My guess is to provide a better structure and more stability on the wrist. Regardless, I think it looks pretty cool. So these are 12 ounce gloves. Normally I train with 16 ounce gloves and I spar with 14 ounce gloves. Surprisingly, these gloves were easy to put on. Normally new gloves smaller than 16 ounces are sort of a struggle to put on because they need to be broken in and sometimes your hand may feel uncomfortable or even the thumb feels uncomfortable. But my hands went in pretty smoothly for being 12 ounce gloves. Which leads me to my next point that these gloves already feel like they're broken in. When you buy new gloves, you have to break them in, use them multiple times. There's strategies where you don't let them air out the first couple of times you use it. So your sweat can kind of mold the inside. But these gloves actually felt really nice. My thumb was not compressed. I was able to make a fist at ease. Again, this is surprising because these are only 12 ounce gloves. Uh, I would imagine 14 and 16 ounces feel better. Okay, next is the foam padding. It's pretty evenly distributed all along the glove. There's not too much foam where it's hard to make a fist and not too little foam where it hurts or bruises your knuckle. It's right in the middle and I feel it makes it perfect for a sparring glove. Now I didn't spar in these again because they're 12 ounces but I did hit the heavy bag and the majority of the impact I did feel was on the knuckles. But because it does not have a lot of padding I'm able to make a fist pretty easy and I can feel the speed on my punches. Okay next we have the wrist support and it's pretty solid. I think the X here makes a difference at least on the foam part of the glove. It may add a bit more durability to enhance the longevity of the glove. It also doesn't bend as much as other gloves. Sometimes you'll buy new gloves or or from different companies and the wrist just bends completely. This has a pretty solid wrist support. There's also a long layer of foam on the inside part of the glove, which extends from the middle of our ulna and radius here to the carpals of our hands up here, which I think serves as a solid structure to keep the wrist secure. Okay, so overall, I really do like these gloves. Uh, this was my first time using them. Well, I probably used them three times this past week, just leading up to the making of this video, so I can really try them out. Again, I have no affiliation with MK1. I don't know the owner personally, but I highly recommend these gloves, more specifically for sparring. If you guys wanna check them out, you can follow them on Instagram. I'll have it pop up somewhere on the screen or you can visit their website, mk1boxing.com, and you can browse through their other products. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new to boxing, make sure you follow these tips and figure out your range when hitting the heavy bag. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can visit my website, www.luuboxing.com. You can buy a team shirt, a hat, some hand wraps. Go ahead and look through the merch. All right, guys, thanks for watching.